two grown men have never seen The Simpsons It's America's Barley Basket A smile when you hear the word butt, you know, <laughs> as a general rule, yeah, yes. Hey, butts, yeah. butts are funny, butts are funny, buns are funny in a p like a kind of cute PG way. Oh, my buns, <laughs> <laughs> ass gets more serious, yep, yeah, yeah. Yep. Now you're swearing. Oh man, what other, what other options do you have for buttocks? Rump, arse, arse, oh boy. Bottom. Oh boy, arse. Any fucking dude in a bar in America that's not from fucking Ireland yeah. that says arse and shite. I'm like, get Go the fuck out of fuck here. Fuck yourself. Yeah. 100%. Fuck yourself in your shitey arse. <laughs> oh my God. You think you're cool? Why are you doing this? Yeah. Why would you say oh this? Oh my god. Why would you speak this way? It's I you know, maybe I just don't I'm old enough I don't hang out with college age kids anymore. That was a thing fifteen years ago. Was like it really twenty something uh, saying uh, arse and fucking Oh oh my god, yeah. Jesus Christ. Who were you? Are you a fucking exchange student? You're from <laughs> fucking Bowbells, North Dakota, you know? Like, <laughs> God damn it. I don't know. What I, boy, that's a fucking old. Uh, but I was old man grump grump about that shit when I was 24. It's like, yeah. you're just so fucking try hard. Like, you, ever uh, catch a, you ever catch somebody saying laboratory? No. No. Oh, instead of laboratory? Really? Trying to act highfalutin? I, I would think you're being highfalutin if you say lavatory. Lab uh, laboratory. Oh, I thought you meant like is it like laboratory? Where science gets done. Oh, this ain't the guy ain't taking shits. Right. <laughs> like, well, I mean, maybe that's what the yeah. maybe that's the lab he's in. I don't oh. know. Oh, I'm going to the laboratory. Right. That's weird. It's like all right, Dexter, yeah, relax. Oh no shit, yeah. God, the people you hanging out with that are going to laboratories, you're, you're <laughs> hanging out with a better class of people. Than I yeah, me and my science yeah. crew. I knew anyone go to laboratory. They're there to steal copper and steal copper only. <laughs> A lot of copper in a lab, I'll tell you that. I need need these beakers for my home laboratory. (laughs) Wink, wink. (laughs) Suda fed. Suda fed. (laughs) An army of fucking pockmarked 13 year old boys buying me cough medicine. (laughs) They're all at Billings, Montana. <laughs> like their Pied Piper. <laughs> Everyone's real sick lately. <laughs> Got a fucking pickup box trailer full of Sudafed. T- ten pounds of pills for one pound of PS3 games. <laughs> you got like an old timey scale. <laughs> <laughs> like your gold miners. <laughs> I got six copies of Tiger Woods 2009. <laughs> God damn it. Well, it's, it's a risky take. Yeah. <laughs> I picture it like bulk candy or peanuts at the grocery store. Just a big shovel that you just dip in and start pulling discs out (laughs) raw discs no cases spilling everywhere (laughs) you ever bought you ever scoop some candy never candy i've done i've scooped nuts (laughs) oh boy isolate the audio I'm like, <laughs> that's what your friends called it <laughs> goddamn 37 years old giggling at nuts <laughs> call that group up see if they say bussy or bussy <laughs> remember, hey guys remember we used to scoop nuts <laughs> you guys remember the nut scooping don't call here again <laughs> I have a family now. I went through that fucking Christian conversion. I am not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> they, they put so many volts through my testicles. Do not try and make me re- regress. Oh, shit. <laughs> Holy. I... I don't want to know. There's probably a real sad documentary about what that conversion therapy. Oh, did. I'll bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet it's real sad. I'm picturing like you getting clockworked orange with like the things holding your eyes open. Yeah. It's just a man's butt that slowly turns into the Mr. Yuck face. <laughs> <laughs> Just hours of that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like club music that slowly morphs into like the screams of hell. Like, <laughs> I'll be good, I swear. <laughs> Come on, Vogue. <laughs> Let your body move to the... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm burning. <laughs> <laughs> the best are just some dude who can't. Well, he can't even fake it. He's just into the butt, loving it, dancing. <laughs> and then he's just like, well, it'll turn back into a butt. <laughs> he's excited every time. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> More butts. <laughs> More butts, please. <laughs> Trying to clap, but he's held down. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet, I bet that psychotic gay conversion therapy is not as funny as we're yeah. making it out to be. <laughs> Oh. For the sake of transparency. I wonder. This is we get too far more science than we are fucking we should be talking about. We we are not trained in this. Do you think you can fucking destroy someone's brain enough to make them not gay anymore? No. Yeah. Like you probably become asexual, if anything. Maybe. Like, they can destroy fucking sex in your head so bad that you're just done. I just can't believe there's any way. Like, do you think you could you go to a fucking summer camp where they could convince you to like dicks? You know, that's just, that's <laughs> yeah, what you're does asking. Does it work the other yeah, way? Like, could you turn dudes prison? <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those get out of the. There's fifty percent of that party not liking it, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I think I think prison sex is like vacation calories. I don't know that it counts <laughs> on the outside, <laughs> right? I think you go back to doing what you usually you do. Get out of Punta Gorda. <laughs> <laughs> Getting rustled to the ground by a man named Punta Gorda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Welcome to America's ah. Barley Basket. This is what this show is going to look like now Now that there's no Simpsons. So This is it. Welcome. I hope you enjoy this. This is what you're in for. Oh, what's that? We lost you already? That's no. fine. That's okay. Please come back. Thanks for still being here if you're still here. It's lonesome. We need you. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you thinking of that... Uh, that sarsaparilla over there. I found yeah. so we were talking a few weeks ago about the the oh what was that brand of of glass bottle sarsaparillas and cream sodas from when we were a kid and then I fucking found some at the M and H right by my apartment. <laughs> it was less than a hundred yards away as we <laughs> sat here wondering. Yeah. Like a tasty stuff. It's fucking good shit. Yeah, this tastes. I don't know. You got the sarsaparilla. I got the cream soda. Uh, Sioux City, Sioux City cream soda, and Sioux City sarsaparilla. Uh, this tastes like liquefied ice cream. Yeah. This is the sweetest thing I've had in my mouth in some time Ooh. now. <laughs> I'm just a sound yeah, bank right? today, baby. <laughs> uh, I will, this has got me thinking. This is the first time I have drank something with sarsaparilla on the label in yep. decades. Yep. I don't think this, if you were to put this in a cup and told me it's root beer, I would nod. Pull, it's like, yep. I think it's the same thing. Yeah, it's just a different one extra root of some sure. part. Well, I think sarsaparilla, I know sarsaparilla is a plant. Oh, okay. So that's what it is. Like I'm you sure. could say, I'm going to go pick some sarsaparilla. Yep. You could go to a hippie fucking herb store and buy sarsaparilla root. Huh. Yeah. I can, what else can you do with it? Can you cook with it? Yeah. I can, you can sound with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are on a tangent. <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you make sarsaparilla crusted salmon? Like, I don't know. <laughs> how far does this, this magic well, root vegetable go? What I know of it is you can buy it in a capsule form, and apparently it has healing you know oh it's snake it's oil snake oil gotcha yes. okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i know some places sell it fucking you can just buy it dried out it fucking looks like if you cut the root off a sagebrush you know like a tumbleweed sure just that little crumpled up i guess that would make sense why it's like cowboy affiliated yeah, yeah okay. good fucking point yeah it i'm makes sure it sense. grows in the fucking high high out desert the prairie yeah. yeah out in some dances with wolves country yeah. but you know whatever they, they I'm, I'm i'm applauding it but my thing with root beers, even when it's a good one, it's like this is good. I'll see you in six months. Likewise, I'm not uh, I'm not reaching for a root beer super often. Uh, when I do, I usually just reach for a basic ass Marks yep. or a 1919 if they got some of that laying around. You're drinking two, three root beers a day. You're a fucking maniac. Yeah. You could be on a watch list. Is root beer magic because it has sugar but no caffeine, and sugar has caffeine in it? Uh, like, I don't understand. Weird. No root beer has caffeine. Every root beer, if you look on the label, is like, no caffeine. Oh, really? I thought there was always one for the people that wanted it. I might be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they made one that they added it yeah, to. Yeah, I, I think, know. yeah, because 
Heaven forbid. <laughs> this one's got a shot of coffee in yeah. it. Heaven forbid for one moment in your waking day, you're not fueled by fucking caffeine, <laughs> which I am not one to judge. I, I am 100% that person. Yeah. Yep. But root beer, man, it is a fucking, it's, when I drink it, it's like, this is for dads. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, moms may love Dr. Mario, dads love root beer. That's the <laughs> natural order of things. Should I whip together that t-shirt design quick? <laughs> we can sell them as a package. 20, 20 a piece or both for 30 his and her porch rockers <laughs> dr mario color scheme and then a root beer, and a color, root beer scheme. color scheme yeah, like, like a mug <laughs> <laughs> uh, that i like it's been a long time since i've been to like a tr- uh, like a, a brick and mortar a and w where you can get it out of the barrel yeah god yeah. that was always good yeah. that was always a sweet treat i was the lunatic though that would go to a and w and ask for a coke float did they let you yeah. eat there, yeah. or did they throw yeah. you out? A and W, the chain A and Ws are a Coke company. Yeah, yeah. I've so. never once had a Coke float. Oh, Coke floats are the shit. Really? Yeah, but you know I'm Team Coke. Yeah, that's but, true. I mean, and the root beer is very good. I'm not I have gonna... to assume that a Pepsi float would be better. Oh, I'm gonna burn your apartment while you're asleep. <laughs> you can't do this anymore. I can't be associated with pro Pepsi propaganda. <laughs> this is the end of the show. Oh, Pepsi wouldn't be just so fucking syrupy, no bubbles. But it's, oh, oh my yeah, god, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Pepsi is a half full. Family's been sipping on it. Two liter of Coke that's been left on the dash of their fucking Winnebago in the sun for two days. <laughs> fucking leave the cap off for another six hours and pour it out coke is so goddamn caustic God, that's it. it's fucking uh, yeah. fuck, you can see that fucking rush it hurts right away <laughs> <laughs> taking a big f- swill of ice cold coke is like getting your body waxed yeah. it's like ripping a strip of hair off your chest <laughs> Ah. How, how funny they have not embraced well you know what coke is such a money-making machine they don't have to fuck around coke doesn't need to advertise yep. they don't need to put work into their marketing at yep. all that's someone pointed that out to me like at how marketing works is if you're the top dog yeah your ads never mention any other competitor yeah because you don't want to. You just want everyone to forget about them because you're the shit. Yeah. That's why Pepsi was always Pepsi Challenge. We're better yeah. than Coke. Pepsi better versus than Coke. Coke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, that's fascinating. A Coke, too, so good that it's never, it will never price match. Like, if, like, a restaurant's like, well, Pepsi will let us go for, the, we can be on the Pepsi monthly, you know, fill us up with fountain soda. Oh, sure. Coke's yeah. like, we'll go with God. Yeah. Have this fun, is our man. price. Yeah. Because huh. there are enough people like me. Like, hey, can I get a Coke? Is Pepsi okay? Is fucking Monopoly money okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm going to go across the street. <laughs> I can't. Like, as much as I, like, I do prefer Pepsi to Coke, but not so much that I would turn away a Coke. The yeah. idea of, like, no, it's fucking not okay yep. is so crazy to me. And plenty of times it's like, can I have a Coke? How about a Pepsi? I'll do a water. <laughs> I've, I've done that. That's so, that I would never. Of times. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or I'll do a coffee. Let's just do a full switch, you know? Like, I'll go a hot, uncarbonated beverage with dairy in it. (laughs) So much you've ruined my day. Like, if there were two, I just want a burger and crinkle cut fries somewhere, and the burgers and fries are fucking the same. One place has Coke, one place, I will go to the Coke one every time. Could be 10 blocks out of the way. Really? Go to it every time. That's so nuts to me. Pizza, too. Like, pizza with, uh, with Coke is just the perfect combo. Yep. Mm, I can't, I don't agree, but what am I going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Throw you out of this apartment and, and, and shut it's the also podcast just like, down? It's clearly, I'm not the only one. Coke is a monolith. You know? Right, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I've, I bet if you polled everyone in America, uh, I am in the minority. I need to become like a fucking bored, empty nest, retired mom start collecting Coke shit. Yes, you do. <laughs> Wearing red and white Coke sweatshirts everywhere, the little Coke conductor's hat. Yep, anti-Coke fridge. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's that's a good way to meet women. <laughs> that's a Got good, that's a good way bears. to meet sixty-two-year-old yeah, sure, women. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Companionship's companionship. <laughs> oh, he's showing off my fucking Christmas polar bears. I think they still do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Every winter, they're like, put the fucking polar bears on the cans. Those shitheads will buy it. <laughs> you remember Y two K? Remember that? That's that one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the tin sign. He's on a snowboard. He loves to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tin signs are a big oh, part yeah. of the coal company. Oh yeah, hundred yeah, percent. We can nail it up in the garage. I guess we could. The... You know me. 
I not, do. Not a big like, like. Get, well, you fuck. We've done so many comedy road trips. I rarely ever. Oh, I want to keepsake from this place. Oh yeah. I what I it. am gonna do, and I forgot to do it this fucking weekend. If they have a bumper sticker or a sticker, I'm just going to make a roll of them in my garage. I think that would be fun. Like, oh, yeah, I remember going to that little horse shit fucking bar. Oh, but, like from the venue. Yeah. Okay. What did this? I cleaned out my trunk, and I found one from the, the bunker bar in Abaddon. Oh, like, ah, nice. Good. That was a good time. We're putting that on the wall. Put that on the wall. Yeah, yeah. now you own a home. Now you yeah. can do that kind of I can, thing. I can vandalize it with no quirks. Exactly. <laughs> that is, like, when I moved into my house, the people that sold it to me did a fine job, but... If you cleaned an apartment in that way, you would be demerited. You would be losing money. Like, yeah. Like, you have to get an apartment so insanely clean not and to lose money. And you still won't get your yep. deposit back because yep. the uh, an apartment renter is your enemy yeah. at all times. Yep. Oh, the last one, that was left the worst fucking taste in my mouth. I cleaned that place. Was the perfect tenant for six fucking years, and they yep. still jobbed me so hard. Yep. Then the fucking other side of that, uh, for three separate occasions, I rented from what most people would consider a slumlord. <laughs> that dude treated us fucking better than like any place I've ever lived. Like when we got our fucking thing with the demerits and the deposit, what we got back, you know, I was like, oh, no one makes oh, that noise. That. Yep. <laughs> I bet I said those exact <laughs> words. Like, I'll be goddamned. I'll be go to hell. Look at this. I'm going to get $175 back. <laughs> I'll be damned. Like when we moved into the house. There's like a half bath on the one floor with no bedrooms. That's just kind of like, I'm going to piss my pants bathroom, you know? Okay, yeah. Uh, it's a nice thing for a house to have. <laughs> <laughs> Got to go up two flights of stairs to get to a toilet, Mike, if without that. Like, oh, that's too yeah, much. Yeah, that's no good. There yep. would be a fucking pan, like an oil change pan for me to <laughs> shit, piss and or shit in on, the, <laughs> on like the, f- the mid flight between where the stairs curve up. The landing, <laughs> yep. Oh, we're going to have to use the pan. <laughs> Gross. Oh, hey, it's your turn to empty <laughs> the pan. <laughs> Bullshit, I did dishes. <laughs> Trying to balance that thing. <laughs> Sp- spinning the char wheel, <laughs> praying to not land on the pan. Got a bull rope hanging from the ceiling, because if you hold on to that, it's the perfect distance, so your ass is like six inches from the pan like work on your grip strength if you're shitting <laughs> or push your horn down with one other hand <laughs> that's upper body workout <laughs> jesus walking turning the corner walking up the stairs to go change the laundry like do to do i heard the dryer ding <laughs> Bo, oh, use the pan, huh? someone's a fucking hell master cut scene up here <laughs> <laughs> Hellraiser, Hellmaster. Close enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> but getting back to it, <laughs> the little half bath. I remember when I was like checking things out. It's like, okay, I bought this house, walk around, get, get a lay of the land, close that bathroom door while I was inside it. There was a how to judo flip fucking poster. It's like, hey, I'm glad that's there. Like, there's worse things to read about when you're taking a piss. You I know? love like, that you left it up and that you didn't warn me the first time I was at your house. <laughs> And had to use your half bath because, yep. like, I walked in, shut the door, and was just like, "Huh, yep. what is this?" I hope they weren't practicing in there because that is not enough room to fucking do judo. I think you could do a little judo yeah. in your living room. Yeah, oh yeah, clear some space. It wouldn't be perfect. You couldn't yeah. have a dining room table like yeah. you got. You couldn't yeah. have that high top table in your dining. That's room. for the judo spot. Yeah, that's yeah. for that's the judo space. Eat in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> you just in a full gi yeah. eating in your garage. What happened to the dining room? It's a dojo now. <laughs> <laughs> a judo dojo. It's hard to say. Put your gi on. It's a judo dojo. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> go, go change the potty pan. <laughs> 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 oh, the pot just, pan is just a an terrible. oil change pan with a pile of shop rags next to it. <laughs> <laughs> the blue shop rags. Oh, and then not flushing it, dumping it into a 55 gallon pail in the garage like it's oil change. <laughs> I got a buddy out of town that burns it. <laughs> Holy fuck. How much you how much did you hate that guy? But God, if you let it ferment or whatever that does, that's so much methane. Jesus Christ, you could feel a rocket ship off that. 
Good God. Catching bleak. Some of these fucking assholes flush their toilets. <laughs> they flush their fucking gasoline down the toilet. That's Thursday. The, <laughs> the oil drum poo poo guy comes on Thursdays. That sounds like a really weird late 60s Disney live action movie. <laughs> <laughs> oil drum poo poo guy? Yeah, I thought you said gang. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's even better. Yeah. <laughs> We're here for your turns. <laughs> it's Don Knotts in yeah. a very early Kirk <laughs> Douglas. <Yeah. laughs> oh, Tim Conway, he'd be part of oh, the Oh, perfect. He'd yes. Be part of the poo poo barrel yeah, gang. Part of the poo poo barrel gang. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Not Kurt Douglas, Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell was the one that was in a ton of Disney live action when yes, he was a kid. You're yeah. right. You're right. <laughs> I've always thought this is not going to be funny at all. I've always thought Kurt Russell, but has great fucking stories because he was like fucking 13 in like the 60s doing those movies. Even if they're fucking throwaway movies, he had to have been working with fucking movie stars from like the 20s. That yeah. Are, yeah. Because that all that was a thing. A lot of those guys would get one last paycheck being the, the nice grandma or like. Like the evil fucking bank owner, yeah, you know, like or the creepy old man next door that yep. the kids are scared of. Yep. Yeah, and I bet it was kind of like, oh, this is a name we can put on the poster, so an adult might accidentally come to this. Yeah, you know, like yeah, he, him being on his way up while they're on their yeah. way out, he's probably got good stories. Yeah, no shit, it's like he fucking hung out with the Gish sisters. <laughs> 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 my favorite tag team yeah. <laughs> combined weight 117 <laughs> pounds it's fucking right <laughs> just fucking see through their skin <laughs> I, I love the idea of a wrestling announcer looking at his paper and out loud saying is that right <laughs> to the end of the microphone <laughs> fighting some fucking monster heel Japanese tag team <laughs> Godzilla and giant bonzo <laughs> Are you killed? Yeah. <laughs> They're fucking wearing fucking seven nightgowns that are ankle length. <laughs> Sleeping caps. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> fucking eight inches from shoulder to shoulder. Like, how to do a collar elbow tie up? I don't think she has collarbones anymore. <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> that had been high flyers. <laughs> Real luchador yeah. sisters, the gishes. Getting a fuck across body block. You don't even move. <laughs> Getting hit with a big marshmallow. Yeah. Someone throwing a fitted sheet at you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to just put this down in a pile. I want to <laughs> set it down gently. I don't know how to fold this, so I guess I'll ball it up. Fold with these closet. women. <laughs> <laughs> One of the Gish sisters came to F Fargo, North, or Moorhead, but you know, same yeah, difference. Yeah, Lillian. Yeah. Because they have one of her old movies, right? Yeah. And everything I heard is you could see through that woman. <laughs> she was, <laughs> at that point, she was, the spectral plane was slowly taking hold of her. Like when Marty McFly starts <laughs> yeah. to not exist anymore. <laughs> oh, no. Looking through her hands. <laughs> Does that happen in the first one? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if it happens in others. It probably does, right. but... I could stand and watch the first one again. I've seen two recently, and I've seen three. Three, the weakest of the bunch, but still fine. I think two is the weakest of the bunch, but I'm in the minority yeah. on that. Yeah, be some nostalgia fueling that for me. Yeah. That's the one I remember the best. And people like two because it's dark, and people like two because it... Uh, it's the one that deals most with like time paradoxes and the, like the yeah, the totally. real geeky sides of time travel. Mm -hmm. And three is like fun but completely inconsequential. Yep. Three is just is just empty calories. And two, you get the uh, pre-fame flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers yep. appearing. Yeah, well, that's a random. What really? <laughs> like, Why is he here? You watch it. It's like yeah, that's flea. All right, that's yeah. flea. No He's like his shitty coworker or something, and like a digital conference call his boss oh is it his boss yeah, okay yeah. yeah i like three but i grew up on westerns and i saw three when i was a kid yeah. so i was like okay i bet i saw three first you know it's another god no nah, i wouldn't have i definitely would have saw one or two first it's another one like that where because just because of the nostalgia i always view the third one as the weakest is indiana jones because i grew up like 
fucking Temple of Doom was on HBO every other hour when I was seven years old. Yeah. I watched the shit out of that. And Raiders was on. They'd re-show that on network TV a lot. Sure. I saw third, like, when it was kind of new because it yeah. came out in, like, 90 or something like that. Like, And I've been told, it's like, if you watch them objectively, you can argue that that uh, the third one is the best. I think you could argue that any of those three yeah. are the best. I would hear a case for it. I think there's, I think each one has its merits. Uh, I think two, if you, again, if you polled everybody, I bet, I bet the answers would come back that two is on the bottom. Yep. I think most critics would too. Yeah. I've heard that Temple of Doom is the, considered the weakest, which that movie's a ton of fun. That movie's great. Yeah. It is the most different of the three. I'll give it that. Yeah. A little kind of gory. Yeah. A little spooky, a little yep. dark. Less action-y. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's just a, it's not as much fun as one and three is. What's the short round? Short round's fun. Short round, yeah. Yeah. Why is the floor crunchy? In me? <laughs> <laughs> no time for love, Doctor. No Jones. time for love, Doctor Jones is a great <laughs> sentence. I love it. <laughs> Ki Huey Kwan, yeah. like, a- Academy Award winner. Yeah. Ki Huey Kwan. Yeah, good for that dude. No That's shit, huh? Awesome to get that kind of. M- I finally saw that. I think we've talked about that already, but I never did. Yeah. I still haven't. Incredible. If you can see it in the theater, it's so crazy that every person I've talked to is like, "It's maybe the best movie ever made," mm. <laughs> is or at the very least, like I think the 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 most damning thing I've heard somebody say about that movie is There's I Asians loved in it. it. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> That what was good. <laughs> you, need to have a, you need to narrow your friend list down. Jesus. <laughs> but go ahead, continue. <laughs> like, the least praise I've seen hyped, uh, uh, heaped upon it is that I someone saying, I loved it. Because everyone else speaks more highly mm-hmm. of it than that. I'd say 30 minutes in, at one point I thought, this better fucking pay off, because they're oh, asking okay. my brain to do a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's like, what? Who? Really? Oh, what? Oh, no shit. You're what? taking notes. Yeah. It's like, oh, my God, my fucking head hurts. But boy, it is Worth so it. fucking good. I mean, but the whole the whole movie, your brain's juggling all sorts of shit. Like, wait, okay, that's that. Because per- it's like different parallel yeah. universes and shit. Multiverse shit. Fuck, is it good, though? Huh. My God. Yeah, I, I'll get there. Yeah, and, I'll get to it. Yeah, I know. And I've been dropping the fucking ball on seeing good movies in the theater, so I'm glad I got around to doing that. Look at me bragging about myself. Yeah. So cultured. You did it, Nate. I did. I saw a movie you saw- on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> After it had been out a long time. <laughs> yeah, I did it. And I, won many Academy yeah. Awards. <laughs> I got into it. It's like getting into a band a year and a half late. <laughs> You guys heard of this Nirvana? <laughs> it's 1998. Yeah, I think they're going to really pop here pretty soon. Uh, don't say pop. Uh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Fucking, we're right around the date of that. Did he kill himself on 420? Was it 420? Or, it was or, around It was around now. Yeah. I, th- I think it is a 420 thing. Yep. We're coming up on the 30th anniversary of that. That was 1994. Yeah. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the, the slow degradation of time. <laughs> Tell me about it. How is that possible? That's going to yeah. be 30 years. Think about what f- music from 30 years when, prior to when you were in high school sounded like. It was like fucking Bill Haley rock around the clock. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what Nirvana sounds like to a 16-year-old now. <laughs> oh, man. I like rock Chantilly around Lay's the clock. got a pretty face. <laughs> that's what Nirvana sounds like to a 15-year-old. Ooh, baby, that's what I like. <laughs> Some inbred 14-year-old beating on a piano. <laughs> <laughs> holy shit just staring at you in disbelief what the fuck was wrong with you guys no this is good no it's not hello <laughs> is the big bob speaking <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> kids in 1958 doing circle pits to that shit. <laughs> I swear to God, if he says what one more time. <laughs> I'm the big bopper. 
there's a 50 year old man it's like a fucking fucking vacuum salesman and like <laughs> recorded a novelty hit oh god <laughs> I think he was a DJ actually <laughs> that's the story with him oh he was like I can fucking do this shit <laughs> by god he did <laughs> oh baby that's all <laughs> <laughs> so fucking dumb. You got a pretty good big yeah. bopper. You should, work, you should work that into your stand up yeah, act. I lose a little weight. I could play him. I have to get a buzz cut. I think he had a buzz cut. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to say goodbye to that mane of yours. Yeah. What a fucking. Like, telling the barber that at like a, a fucking MJ Capelli's. I ain't getting your hips. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get into the big bopper tribute business. <laughs> it's a fucking 20 year old right out of the fucking hair salon academy. <laughs> what? The, the who? Yeah. You know, Big Bopper, do you have a fucking <laughs> rotary dial phone I could show you my app? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Don't worry, I got one with me. <laughs> <laughs> you carry a rotary phone in your car. <laughs> Who's Chantilly Lace? It's like, I think it's a chick. <laughs> It'll be like a dog or, or something. A car. A I car. Yeah. <laughs> His hometown. I don't know. I didn't really look into the lyrics. These were fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking dumb <laughs> oh. I, I got a residency he's a big bopper impersonator in Branston <laughs> I'm moving tomorrow <laughs> 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 and I'm doing my math a little wrong there. That was Big Bopper was like 35 Oh, years. yeah, terrible fucking math. <laughs> yeah, but mid-60s, mid to late 60s, would have been like British fucking, the British invasion bands, which some of them, I mean, the people remember the Beatles pretty fondly. For whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, late 60s, some of that like more hippie kind of revolutionary stuff. So yeah. Music are pretty goddamn good post-1965. I mean, I like a lot of the rockabilly shit, too. Like, oh, yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah, a lot yeah. of the bubblegum shit I'm pretty into. Yeah. I, where we were performing last night, there was uh, a pinball table, and I was like, oh, I could play pinball, but it was a Beatles pinball table, so I was like, ow. Oh. oh, you got that kind of distaste for him, huh? I, was, I wasn't I was like, so I'm going to flip it over and set yeah. it on fire, but I was like, oh, like I was just dampened. I don't know about you. For me, a lot of my distaste for the Beatles just comes from how much boomers stroke themselves off over it's the, the Beatles. It's the fans who ruin the yeah. band, yeah. So yeah. Just, just like bands like Grateful Dead, like any of that really hippy-dippy shit, just that culture doesn't appeal to me at all. So I'm just, just like, I'm inclined not to like the music or even give it a fucking chance. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah, I'm frankly in the same boat, but... I, I love pinball, and, yeah. I, and I didn't touch that table <laughs> last night, and, and I was bored. Yeah. So That was a pretty, pl for a new machine, that was a pretty plain Jane. Not a lot of ramps and shit, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was a, I don't know. I, maybe there's, maybe it's more complex once you're playing That's it. That's true, but yeah. at first glance, I was like, eh. Not a know. whole lot going on here. Yeah. Also, I didn't want to just stand by the men's room the yeah. whole time playing <laughs> pinball. Yeah, that door was right there. Just yeah. listening to dudes disembowel themselves. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> playing pinball, listening yeah. to farts. <laughs> and groaning. A lot of groaning in the men's room. <laughs> I am at that age now. I just let now can't piss silently anymore. Like, <laughs> even if it's just quiet to myself, there's a gasp or a moan or a groan or something. <laughs> Fuck, that's true. Yep. I've never noticed that. But you and I have been in a lot of men's rooms together. Yeah. Or just like fuck. a just like a just like a long exasperated fuck. Yeah, like, just oh, oh fuck. <laughs> like what's the pain coming from? That's not good at all. <laughs> Too much blood in it. Just like a long wisp whist like whistless fart. Like just a long whispering <laughs> fucking doesn't stink, just air moving around. Just <laughs> Your body pushing air around. It bum whispers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you almost wish it would stink. <laughs> Make you feel alive. <laughs> Say what you want about stinky farts. There's a little bit of vitality there. Like, but a 98-year-old woman's farts don't smell bad. <laughs> Her body can't spare whatever it takes to make it stink. I bet LeBron James doesn't fart much, but when he does, I bet it fucking reeks. <laughs> <laughs> I like this theory of yours that a, that a rank fart is a healthy fart. You shouldn't fart a lot, but when you do, it should reek. It should be serious. <laughs> yep. Like your buddy who never says anything, but when he does, it's real profound. Yeah, yeah. When he opens his mouth, people listen. Yeah. 
when I cut ass in the fucking dairy aisle at a, at a Costco, people clam up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm a I'm a I'm a well mannered boy. I ain't barking ass in public. That oh, even in a bathroom? In a yes, in a bathroom. Yeah. Yes. Isn't that But from... never in the dairy aisle yeah. at Costco. <laughs> or in the car with your buddies. Oh. Not ever. I try not to, but sometimes my ass makes the rules, you know. Like, sometimes it ain't up to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I start laughing too hard. All of a sudden, I'm just shitting my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> if I stop now, it'll sting. <laughs> We're in it now. <laughs> the only way out is through. <laughs> Using a literal oh, shit handle. <laughs> 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 oh my god if you if you full-on shat your pants in my car i would be so bummed holy fuck i don't even know that i would be mad i would just be bummed yeah how'd you do it man like do you think i meant to you think that was the goal like it's a goof <laughs> like oh my poor car oh poor nathan like everything's sad where do you how where do you begin if because we're going to assume it's diarrhea for fucking one thing, so a guy gets out and there is an inch of standing poo poo water. Where do you begin? Holy fuck! You got leather seats. It's still going to seek in through the seams. Yeah, I don't think if he had cloth seats, you could take it to a detailer and I think they could deep fucking. I mean. It's all it's that you can't scrub your psyche. It's gonna be in your head forever <laughs> that you're riding in a fucking poo poo mobile. But like, <laughs> I, I think don't know I go to leather. Kelly Blue Book and see what its estimated value is. I think if you got a new vehicle you like, you can, you can replace that seat. Sure. That's, I mean, they be expensive. Yeah, but now you're dealing with the carpet underneath it. Everything Ooh, you is th- fucked. You think it's leaking through. I mean, 100%. if you're taking that big of a shit in a car, oh if my God. If you're talking, you just said an inch of standing diarrhea in <laughs> the seat. <laughs> Maybe I think the foam yes, it's is getting all the way down. More absorbent than it is. Well, For- like my vehicle with its leather seats, there's no like exposed foam. It's just going to slide in between the seat and the back. Oh, yeah. Fuck. I was thinking more of the seams in the fucking seat. It's I'll be right. Oof. Yep. Yeah, that. I I am a little more of a dirt dog. I can replace the seat and carpet clean the carpet underneath and out of sight, out of mind. But explaining that to the body shop. Like, <laughs> <laughs> my buddy gets excited <laughs> like, this fucking thing smells like shit bro I'm like yeah man that's why i'm changing the seats out of a 18 month old car <laughs> <laughs> we were listening to the jerky boys album and my buddy laughed too hard at yeah. one of the prank calls he loves that punitive are. damages call <laughs> sue who sue everybody <laughs> sue me for what i don't know punitive damages <laughs> oh, oh my god timeless classic i'm I'm going wreck. I'm going to try my best never to shit in your car. Oh, thank you. you I know? appreciate that. I'm like, man, for as big of a fuck up as I've been at certain points in my life, I don't think I've ever shit in a car or like I've had very few poo-poo mishaps. Pee-pee mishaps, we've had a few. <laughs> we have had a few. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that queen lyric right yeah, we are just, the champions yeah. <laughs> we've had a few <laughs> <laughs> i was just regaling a comedian last night about the time on a zombie pub crawl where i was a i was a zombie french pastry chef i had a huge chef hat with the poofy <laughs> part on top big curly q mustache and a big apron covered in flour and blood point infinity drunk mm-hmm. broad daylight standing on the street hog in my hand pissing just on the sidewalk not like spinning in circles not being a nuisance i think even kind of behind a dumpster kind of like you know <laughs> you're always behind something depending the angle you know like, and i was talking on my f- on the phone while pissing and my friends like just lay down man why are you talking to me like you're too drunk and he hears someone come up to talk to me and it's a cop and I'm like, hey, hold on, bro. This dude wants to say something. <laughs> He's like, it's a police officer. <laughs> He's like, from trying to, for my benefit, to help me. I'm like, nope. And he's like, my friend's like, I just hear you go, sup, bro. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, can you come talk to me for a second? I'm like, okay. <laughs> 
that cop, I do remember bits and pieces. I remember being in the back of that cop car and that cop trying so hard not to laugh and trying to do his job. <laughs> he was yeah. bummed that he had to arrest you. Woke up that next day, fucking dug through my gross ass bloody clothes and found that urinating in public. Like, fuck me, that happened? <laughs> oh, my God damn. Fuck, that was real? <laughs> I dreamt that. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like if you greet a cop with sup, bro, that goes in the report for sure. <laughs> and it was all fun and games till a friend was like, you know, in some states you have to register as a sex offender. I was offender. about to say, yeah. You're Boy. lucky it wasn't outside a preschool. I was fucking sweat. And it was right by a church. That can be dicey. Sometimes they got shit going on with kids. <laughs> I mean... A yeah, lot of, a, lot got, of, yeah. a lot of churches, yes, have yeah. things going on with kids, and therefore it's not a huge deal that you're yeah. pissing outside. Yeah, it's, those kids wish that was the most traumatic thing because that happened to them. Because of the deals going on with kids. Yeah. So, uh, You ever get urinating in public? No. Look no. at you go. No, I've... Have I urinated in public? 100%. But have I ever gotten a ticket for it? No. I definitely have not urinated in public much. <laughs> like, it's a rarity <laughs> if you don't count, like, Back home. living in the fucking country, yeah. you know? Yeah. But I don't know. I bet it's less than three times that I've urinated in a city in public. I don't want to brag. I live in a townhome in a pretty congested neighborhood. I've pissed outside at least three times. What? Why? I found a little cubby hole where I can piss. Where you'd really have to be snooping to see what was going on back there. Why pit? Why not piss Sometimes at home? Maybe I, there's a good tune on on the, on the fucking on my car. I want to fucking. I don't want to fucking run upstairs and come back down. Like, I'll just go piss quick, come back in, listen to a ball game. That's the main thing. Listen to the end of a Twins game. Got a rock a piss. Don't want to run inside. Take my shoes off. Run outside right by the garage. <laughs> rock a piss. Run right back in. <laughs> what a thing to witness if you're next door. Right. You fucking piss. You're on somebody's <laughs> ring camera pissing. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't really. <laughs> he just seems like he's got things going on. <laughs> I am the least of the fish that need to be fried in my neighborhood. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, he's just pissing on his property. Well, like, oh, we he's could... pissing in the bushes and yeah. not firing a firearm <laughs> yeah. into him. He's fine. He's not just dumping all of his trash under the boulevard. He's okay. <laughs> oh, God. People don't do that, do they? I mean, people. I have witnessed some of the most amazing littering. Just like <laughs> a family of sevens McDonald's going out the window of a car at an intersection. It's Why? like. Yeah. God damn it, people. <laughs> like fucking huge littering crack. It's I hate to see it because I fucking I don't like fucking a messy fucking area, but like I laugh my ass. I'm just so hilarious. Just so fucking lazy. Vlog this out the window. Like three huge bushel fulls of garbage out the window. Like, there's a gas station with garbage cans 50 feet away. Nope. <laughs> I got I got to get somewhere. Listen, it can also it can stay in your car till you get somewhere to deal yeah. with it. But just <laughs> no. Nope. I'll give you that. There is something comedic about just the attitude of fuck this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best recurring things in Anchorman. The if you pay attention, they're littering constantly. Like, they made a point of that. Like, when they're walking, you don't even notice it. Like, the fuck, the one will be crumpling up a napkin. He'll walk five feet past a fucking du uh, garbage can. He'll throw it on the ground. Huh. You pay attention. They're littering constantly. And the big one is when he throws that burrito out the window yeah, of that car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn it. That's good. It is filling. It <laughs> just hucks it out the window. It's a fucking guy in the face on a motorcycle. Yeah. What a way to go. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in a very long time. That was one where we, we all watched watched it too many times in college and ruined it it was that and uh 40 year old virgin grandma's boy no uh, i come, like grandma's boy. come a little later than that too yeah a couple years later there's one uh, there's a super troopers is yeah. the other one yeah we watched it too much in the dorms and and ruined it i don't need to see any of those ever again i'd say the hangover goes more paired with grandma's boy as yeah people owned those and watched the shit out of them yeah i could see that 
I wonder if Grandma's Boy is still good or if I just am remembering it being good. I bet it's good. I bet it's fine. I mean, there's probably some dumb shit in it, but all those movies have. I bet compared to like a, mo, a, like a subpar movie from that era, it aged fine. Yeah, I bet it's totally fine. I know someone taught, I read somewhere online that uh, they showed a bunch of like 16, 17, 18, and 19 year olds uh, American Pie. And they were not a fan. That, to your average teenager, that movie is problematic. I would imagine so. Yeah. <laughs> Which I haven't seen that in a while, but I always had an affinity for that movie. I came to that movie late. I yeah. bet I didn't see. I bet I saw American Pie 2 first. Yeah. They came out quick. That would make sense. Yeah. They realized let's strike while this is hot. And they did. Yeah. Yep. Second one's fine. If I remember the third one, I think that was American Wedding. Yeah. That one is basically a Stifler solo movie and a little Stifler goes a long way. Mm. So it's just too much Stifler if I remember. And then wasn't there American Reunion? Oh shit! Yeah, yep. I think you're right. I didn't I didn't see that. Didn't have as many laughs, but it had a sweetness to it. You know, uh, like yeah. You think about like the the, the cat. That movie was well cast. You yeah. know, like. And as far as raunchy teen sex comedies go, those were pretty good ones of those. Yeah, you know, had a little more heart, a little less crass. Sure. Like, yeah. the, like I always said, the, that movie captured friend boy teenage boy buddies well, yeah. like the energy, the ball busting. Yeah, and the, yeah. yeah. So I thought that would they they figured that part of it out. Yeah. I haven't revisited any of that shit. Any of those movies that were like my favorite movies when I was in college or anything like that. I've I've not revisited a one of them. You know what's a big reason why too? Because we no longer have cable. It used to be you sure. would just have cable and you'd be doing shit around your house and on Comedy Central they're showing the hangover. It's like ah better than what else is on let's just keep it running yeah i'll uh, do whatever i'm doing yeah. cooking dinner you know like yeah. leave it on while i dick around on my phone yeah yeah I, which if i go i last night in that hotel room I was like i kind of miss this just going Flipping through the channels, channels see what's on like i'm kind of with you i got uh i got you i've had it for like a week now i got youtube tv because i want to watch it's it's a magical time of year because the nba playoffs and the stanley cup playoffs are both happening at the same time and i want to watch them both so i was like fuck it i'll, I'll give them their fucking 72 dollars a month of blood yeah. money for the next four months and uh like i i don't have nostalgia for commercials not at all i did uh. learn that uh but I do have nostalgia for they're going to commercial. Let's see what's happening on the other game. <laughs> like I was, <laughs> as soon as I started doing it, I was like, "Look at this! Yeah. Remember this? <laughs> Remember what's going on on the other game? Yeah. Let's switch over to that one during the commercial." <laughs> yeah, that's pretty tight. Well, I for a hot minute, probably a decade, I got a roommate that insisted we get it. We got Direct TV with the NFL package, but you don't be able to pause live TV. Yeah, you know. Well, again, say what you will about me, but I could eventually, occasionally put shit together pretty well and come up with good schemes. My whole thing was, you watch a fucking football game. It is three now, three hours, 15 minutes, two hours are commercials or horse shit. Yeah. So I would hit pause and I would fucking do the math in my head. You're going to clean house for the next hour and 10 minutes and just do all that fucking shit, get my house looking fucking good, and then sit down and fast forward through the commercials. And by the end, I'd be catching up to the huh. live stream. Yeah. Yep. Look Factual, at me go. Get through the commercials, get mm -hmm. through the halftime breaks. Yeah. Frankly, with football, get through, like, you could watch a play and fast forward. Yep. And watch a play and, you know, you can catch up to football. And there's a lot of fucking, there's a lot of downtime in football. The NFL Network does that. Like, they'll reshow a game, that thing they call it, like, NFL Express or something like that, where they just, they, it's just the plays. So they knock a football game out in an hour with 16 minutes of commercials. Huh. And it's just, uh, hut hut. Hut, hut, and that's it. You know, like if something I, something of note happens on the sidelines, they'll show it. Otherwise, it's just the plays. Which fuck if you're like a football nerd and you really want to examine how your team is doing. Yeah, Jesus, get can't find a better way to do it. Yeah, and then they they as a network gotta air something. You know what the hell are you gonna air on NFL Network and over the Fourth of July exactly. weekend? Exactly. Or think about, like, what the fuck is on the NHL network in August, you know? Like, no I mean, idea. NBA, same thing, you know? Like, yeah. 
But I don't know. Let me go to hockey. I'm sure there's fucking hockey getting played in Europe all the fucking time. You know, yeah, like, I suppose. Same with the basketball, I guess. There's always. What is league. on America's Barley Basket when the Simpsons aren't around? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're know? just doing this. You gotta fill time, this fucking baby. fucking John Bouchagross and that fucking mullet head uh, coach <laughs> of the Kings that's always been a talking head. <laughs> just them talking about their yards. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching. So again, now that I have this YouTube TV thing and I'm watching a lot of playoff hockey, uh, the like, I don't know, pregame and intermission table of four guys, analysts talking. One of them is, uh, is it Mike Messier? Yep. Uh, is I, I haven't seen Mike Messier since I've seen like photos of him as a player, yeah. Mike Messier in his old age looks fucking terrifying. Oh, really? <laughs> Mike Messier is like tall and skinny and bald and has this facial structure of like he would be the scary old man that runs the motel yeah. that you stop at. I could see that. He seems like even in his late NFL NHL career, he's like this I don't want my sister to hang out with this man. Yeah, <laughs> like, he, he has big axe murderer yeah, vibes. Yeah. Which let's go on the record. Nothing he's ever done in his life makes us think that nope, it's just seems like a delightful man solely on his appearance. But he has this deep voice and yep. just the the cheekbones and the jaw structure. Yep. It's like <laughs> Jesus, this fucking guy. Yeah. That guy was built to take a puck to the head mm -hmm. and just keep skating. Fuck, uh, Connor Hellebuck, the the uh, uh, goalie for the Jets the other night, blocked a fucking shot with his face, <laughs> and it was like jarring to watch Ugh. because he like he hits the fucking ice immediately and shoves the puck away to a teammate and then lays his stick down he's waving down for the refs because if a goalie is hurt they'll fucking yeah. put the brakes on everything uh, pulls his mask off he's bleeding God, just like Jesus. even with the mask it'll still bust you up that yeah bad. he like put his head down and caught it right above the eyebrow just uh. bang and and Took it off and just bleeding all over the fucking place. Uh, like, uh, Jesus. Uh. You what? should you should try the glove. That fucking guy that got sliced in the face with a skate. Got 75 yeah. stitches. Another Jets player. Yep. Oh, 75 stitches fuck. in his face. Good God. And then went back out on the ice. I'm not a, like, that's a real man kind of yeah. guy. But I, even I was like, that's pretty dope, man. Yeah. All right. Fuck yeah. It's funny they're able to get it to stop bleeding. Because your face bleeds. I'm so sure you're bad. just fucking gumming it with yeah. fucking super glue or whatever. Yeah. And they must have made them. Is that the word? Yeah, for yeah some kind of bleedings? chemical yeah. coagulant. Yeah. They had to have made him wear a full cage, right? They couldn't have had him out there open. Yeah, faced. they put him out in the fucking chicken wire. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was going to say, my God, that'd be something. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that's the hockey player's version of like when a dog has to wear a cone. <laughs> like, I don't want to wear this dumb thing. <laughs> It's dumb. I don't <laughs> like it. I wonder if any guys do it just out of protection. Anyone wear a more full? I bet someone does out there. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. know that I've seen it, but yeah. I bet somebody does. Like, I noticed a baseball game recently where a guy's helmet had the the Florida Peninsula coming out to oh, protect yeah, his mouth. Shop. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep. Fucking Minnesota twin guy two weeks ago took a fastball to the teeth. Oof. The way his jaw moved, it was like getting punched by a horse. <laughs> like his, like, like his mouth their jaw shifted an inch over like that's too far you know like Oof. good god i think they just said four teeth got knocked out i thought all of them would be gone but like there have been baseball players that wear batting helmet in the field there was uh john olderwood had a that soft brain is that who i'm thinking of played yep. for the mets with ricky henderson yep played with the toronto blue jays in the early 90s too okay yeah yep. he had some kind of skull thing yep. always Couldn't, had yeah always scared of getting hit in the head so he wore imagine wearing a batting helmet playing yeah. fucking in the outfield yeah no shit yeah it's hot in this thing had like i think won a batting title he was weird He was a first baseman big not really thick but tall no power, but insane on base. That was his game. That was John Olerud's game. He get, he hits singles all fucking day for you. A lost art. I miss it. <laughs> Old man single. Grump Grump. The, the, nothing wrong with a single. <laughs> station to station baseball. <laughs> I want to see dingers yeah. all day. I've been I've been watching just most of the twins, but like I haven't paid attention to like the overarching effects of the rule changes. What they are noticing 
it, mission accomplished on shortening games. That pitch clock has changed shit. Huh. Baseball games are fucking often two hours long now. Okay. Yeah, they were like 3.30 if it was like a Yankees-Red Sox game. Like, And is that just basically like a shot clock? Yep, but exactly. Okay. You could only... How long is it? I don't even know. That's a very good 20 seconds, maybe. And as a hitter, you're only allowed one timeout. Okay. You know, you get in the box. You know, like, it used to be unlimited. Oh, that's something ain't right. He took longer than I wanted. I lost my train of thought. I, I need to get out. Reset. Some of those guys would undo each glove, undo everything, restrap it. Jason Giambi would take f- 75 seconds between each pitch. Which is so dumb. Yep. That should have been addressed. I'm yep. glad it did. And now there's a couple other. Oh, if if you're on first base and you know how, like, a pickoff move if you're the pitcher, yep. you get two. So if you burn your two, you can't throw you're over done? unless you catch him. If you throw over a third time and catch him, it's cool. If you not, it's like a balk. He gets the base. Crazy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So man, that's a bold move to waste him and then try a third time and hope to catch him. You yeah. Know? Like, which I'm going to be interested to see. Those baseball players are smart. They'll figure out strategies and shit. And I don't, I feel like I would know if it does because they made the bases bigger in hopes of increasing steals. I don't think it's made it. I think it's up, but not like drastically. <laughs> How big are the bases the size of a goddamn kiddie pool now? I think like a wading pool? I think they're two inches bigger. Uh, but if you look, you can say, oh, it's noticeable. I can tell. That's, that's, that's a bigger base. I think part of it too is like, it makes it makes that's it's technically four inches closer, which in baseball in steals it's a fucking game of inches, you know. Yeah. And also since the base is bigger, it's less hard. It's harder for like the shortstop to cover it up with his foot, the front of it when you're sliding in. So hope there's more oh, real estate for your more hand base to catch. for you to touch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, it's some wild rule changes, but I think so far it's done what they were hoping it would do. They didn't change how big home plate is, I assume. No. Okay. No. Uh, I'm trying to think the yeah, like if there's ever in our lifetime been a huge baseball rule change like that, because uh, you know like in the 70s they did designated hitters. Now yeah. people were losing their minds. People still and, do. Yeah, I guess the only other thing I could think of is was it probably 10 years ago they made it a little safer. They made it so you couldn't fucking disembowel the guy on second base with your cleats to break up a double play. <laughs> you look back at that, you know, people are like, ah, oh, we shouldn't do that. Like, it's nuts. You were like, as long as you could conceivably touch the base with your fingertips, you could be six feet away, cleats up, <laughs> taking out a just, guy's feet. Just like, Liu Kang bicycle yep. kicking into the second yep. baseman. The twins in the mm, probably early teens, 20 teens, uh, paid a little bit of money to get this like standout Japanese shortstop. Uh, he fucking like was like a like like a teen celebrity heartthrob. He's like he was in a fucking K-pop band. Like, <laughs> like had like swoopy hair and shit. And was like had like a famous Japanese wife and stuff. But he came here and he was. I don't think he was going to mount to anything. But like it's like early in his rookie year he got his fucking leg snapped in half because in japan they're not allowed to do that because they're civilized (laughs) he like his interpreter's like i don't know why man break my legs i just played the game i love it's like gotta be ready homie (laughs) life comes at you fast and you can't you as a catcher as a catcher you can't block home plate anymore fuck that yeah you don't get those collisions at home plate it's all gone now if you're in the way, it's like being standing in the way of a runner. It's interference. Uh, yep. Yeah. Fuck so, that. so you have to like stand and swipe. You have to like stand in front and swipe at it. No. Nope. Uh, Don't like that. CTE, baby. They're trying to get rid of it. They don't want the mush mush brains. There can't be that many CTEs in goddamn baseball. Yeah, Come yeah. on. Now, listen, we should try to make that number yeah. zero. <laughs> yes, you're 100% right. But reflexively, yeah. mm. it's weird. Mm-mm. The things like the twins had a third baseman named Corey Koski. He actually might have left for a, as a free agent by this point, but he was a huge pop up backpedaling. You know how you do? Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Way up there. And I think he tripped over like the fucking groundskeeper tarp or something, fell back, hit his head. That almost ruined his life. He had to like take off two seats. He said his head was so bad. He would just spend all day sitting on the end of the dock at their lake and just having his head down looking at the water because any light or sound was like driving him out of his mind. Jesus. Like, that's so fucking insane. <laughs> like, that's some Jacob's Ladder. Yeah. Shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, why can, yeah, your brain shouldn't be able to do that. Like, he was just like, 
He's like, if I didn't have kids, I don't like to think about what I might have done to myself, Oof. you know, like, but then I think, I think he got better. He, he tried to come back and he was getting older and it never worked out. But like, I think he lives a normal life now, but good God, what a thing to have happen to you. The lake water is the only thing that makes my brain not yeah, scream. Yeah. God, I bet he loved it when a jet ski fly by <laughs> with fucking Kid Rock American badass <laughs> cranked. <laughs> it's just good. So, 24 year old in Bret Hart sunglasses crushing yeah. a Coors Light against yeah. his forehead <laughs> comes flying by on a jet ski you're sitting on your patio you can hear Corey Kosky grinding his teeth <laughs> <laughs> oh boy uh oh <laughs> 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 labor day weekend. it's not even i hear just whispers it's not labor day <laughs> it's august 14th <laughs> the, pon- the pontoons just circling 15 feet in front of them giant lake with so much room but no <laughs> <laughs> a fucking 40 year old man's gonna try butt truck Boone's farm <laughs> the holy thing shit that's stopping him is he hasn't picked out which flavor yeah. as if it matters <laughs> we don't need a funnel it's built like a funnel let's go <laughs> bird dog it we're yeah. burning <laughs> use it just sloppily applying suntan lotion on the neck of the bottle <laughs> Bottoms up. Here we go, boys. <laughs> oh, God. What a thing to just calmly drive by on a pontoon. <laughs> I think he's flooding out. That bottle's filling back up again. <laughs> oh, no. Backwash. <laughs> oh, sick. <laughs> yeah, I bet butt chug. It ain't as easy as it sounds. It ain't all gravity. That's a... <laughs> I bet it's not as fun as it's cracked up to be. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you get a dui from butt chugging yep i bet you want to do the breathalyzer the blood test will be the tail of the tape holy fuck if you were if you were unable to stand yeah. and pulled over and you blew a zero yeah, or like a point oh oh two it's like <laughs> you confusion. have to be drunk you have to be drunk. <laughs> you're actively <laughs> pissing in your car yeah and the cop is looking at his device just uh, like what is happening just right just sunburnt as fuck <laughs> it's all good officer it's all good I am good to go. Uh, uh, okay, bye now. Uh, <laughs> it's good tra- Can't start your car. Like, calling a judge, like, you legally can't keep him there this long. Like, <laughs> fuck. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's clearly <laughs> annihilated. I think a cop can arrest you for DUI even if you pass a breathalyzer. Yep. If, you're, if you appear visibly intoxicated. I bet it's if you fail the roadside Olympics, uh, which if you've butt chugged enough Boone's Farm, you for sure can't pass that. I sure bet it's hard to hold up in court, though. If you get a lawyer and, they're, and you have a clear or a passed breathalyzer, I bet that's getting pled down i bet it's pretty tough yeah Yeah, because they can't take your blood by force i don't think yeah especially if you've consented to the to the breathalyzer (laughs) right because that's hey you do this or you do that okay i'll do this you know i don't think they can they can just test the blood without that'd be a Hell of a thing if the cops could just take your blood whenever yeah. they want it. Yeah. Ooh, fucking vampire, yeah, get no out of shit. here. Yeah. Stop it. Throwing garlic at a fucking highway yeah. patrolman. They're trying to find a vein in the rain at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me this. Yeah. The, the four-week course I took to become a police officer. <laughs> the phlebotomy was really, really shortened. I, sp- I spent too much time designing my cool Punisher tattoos. I wasn't able to take the vein finding course <laughs> they were humming frankenstein while they were doing it two punishers frankenstein's pretty good bop <laughs> the teeth and the skull are gonna be bowie knives <laughs> it's so cool you still doing? You still working on that sarsaparilla over there? I think it is officially cashed. Oh, cashed out. Yeah, What'd you think? What, 
Tasty treat. Live up to the, did, did you get any nostalgia fire in, or are you just like, ah, oh, this is a good root beer? My taste buds ain't got that kind of memory. Oh, yeah. sure. But it was fucking better than most root beers. That'll, yeah. that'll be our seal of approval on this. This cream soda was very good and extremely sweet. Woo! <laughs> Hot dog. Lightheaded. Yeah. They also make a root beer and a orange creamsicle, like an orange, ah, orange ooh. vanilla breaking out trying something new look at them <laughs> i don't know if that's a new product for the first uh, time in a hundred years but uh fucking oranges grow around sioux falls or sioux city but i'm not a i'm not an orange person uh, like orange soda orange creamsicle candies not oh, i can no. fuck with candies or a popsicle it's not my favorite flavor but I'll, it's orange soda though no you know what is a very good orange soda i was like god damn i wouldn't buy it but it's far better than i thought Fago. Fago makes a good one. Fago yeah. make a good orange soda. I like a I like a strawberry soda or oh, a grape soda. Yikes. Or a Fanta pineapple Jesus. soda. It's real good. Yep. Unbelievable. <laughs> you seem offended. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they make a plum soda somewhere for oh, you. Oh, I would drink yeah. the shit out of a plum yeah. soda. Peach. Why'd they keep the pit in here? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the worm. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a bitch to get down. Oh, boy. <laughs> I really got to suck to get it out of the hole in the top of the bottle. <laughs> Watching someone do that in traffic at the red light. <laughs> <laughs> guy is going to town on that. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get the peach pit out. Sure you are. <laughs> Don't talk to me when my kid's in the car. <laughs> that guy really wants that peach pit. <laughs> Sto- Why? <laughs> <laughs> we should launch a line of stone fruit sodas. Yeah. Oh, that's a name. A, ch- a cherry, a plum, a peach, and a nectarine. <laughs> Holy shit. It could take off. There's a lot of heathens out there. That a lot of weirdos. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way that like Jones doesn't already make yeah, all of fuck. those. Fuck. Yeah. They're making ranch flavored They're sodas. They're the weirdos. Fucking yeah. buffalo wing sodas and you shit. You ever have a fucking gross Jones nope. soda? I never have. It's like, you know what? That's funny to see in a small timey hardware store with a novelty soda section, but yep. I'm not going to drink carbonated ranch. I think if I'm not mistaken, I think I drank a fucking Brussels sprouts one oh. when I was like 19. Hit couple the spot. Of, a couple of buddies goaded me into it. I'm <laughs> fairly certain I vomited. I don't, oh, it was <laughs> terrible. Now I kind of want to try one. I now, think you should. Yeah. Isn't Good it content. Thanks, Thanksgiving rolls around and they put out the weird ones like turkey and mashed potatoes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gravy I can see flavored. the cranberry being good. I yeah. can see the cranberry soda being good. At least good. it's fucking sweet. I like a gravy. cranberry juice. Oh, a fucking turkey base gravy that's carbonated. <laughs> oh. <laughs> potatoes are just inert. That'd be gross, but not make you throw up. But oh, like, carbonated potatoes, though? Yeah. Mm. Oh. I've never, I've never been eating a baked potato and thought I wish this were fizzy. <laughs> we got any champagne? <laughs> Sp- spice this up Can a little I get bit. Some club soda to mix <laughs> into my mashed potatoes. <laughs> you know what I think there's room for is coffee soda. I think you could get into carbonated coffee. Really? I, I would drink a carbonated coffee. I mean, if it was sweetened, maybe. Yeah, you might have to take the fucking like cream and sugar approach yeah. like uh, like the yeah. like those glass bottles of starbucks frappuccino yeah. if you fucking filled that if you stuffed that into somebody's soda stream oh, i bet boy. that'd be good yeah yeah i think you might be on a sudden here uh-huh here we go, here we go. ideas man is what yeah. they call you that'll be that'll be part of wave two of yeah. our stone fruit <laughs> soda company Co- coffee bean sodas <laughs> It's all coming together. It's all coming together. <laughs> Got just a <laughs> bottle of plain black coffee soda. <laughs> just a half-eaten plum and a 20-ounce <laughs> bottle full of club soda. <laughs> Shake it. <laughs> it doesn't taste right because you're not shaking it enough. It's fruit at the bottom like yeah. yogurt. <laughs> That's how you sell it. It's just a slice oh, of nectarine my God. in the bottom. Us doing it in our garages, just... <laughs> slicing and putting them in bottles of club soda <laughs> it's a living <laughs> it's, an, it's honest work <laughs> doing it on a farm that's dusty as shit <laughs> i think it's gonna be this gritty <laughs> there's an abrasive quality to this soda it's got it's got pumice you didn't shake it <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm all fucked up i got the soda grit 
Well, we're we're freshly back from telling jokes. You and I spent the whole weekend together. We sure here we still are. Did. We were out on these streets, on these highways. We're still in our comedy clothes. Oh. We're in proper pants. These need to be boiled. <laughs> <laughs> Had a shower. I just could not feel truly clean. Yeah. Water pressure a little wonky at one of them. You that know? this morning or last Today's night? wasn't bad. Yeah. The other ones, one didn't have enough room. I need to have room to get my leg up, you know, like really, <laughs> really get direct in there. the hose, you know, <laughs> like really get, not, be nice to have a spray from below, like yeah, a like car wash. A car wash, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Just, yeah, a fucking a bidet in the middle of your shower. That'd be a fucking treat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shower bidet? Yeah. That'd be the way to go. Hold on to the handicap handle and just get your party hole blasted. <laughs> Gritting your teeth. <laughs> just, <boy>. just twerking. <laughs> I need to adjust this. Oh, God. <laughs> just bucking your wet ass bussy. <laughs> <laughs> I tear the whole one piece shower off the sheetrock, tip the whole thing over. <laughs> we got to move to a different house, to a different state. <laughs> <laughs> not getting this deposit back <laughs> rip the plumbing clean out of the fucking main line on the road like your yard heaves up <laughs> oh god <laughs> i was trying to wash my asshole you happy you need to know everything <laughs> fine you think just because you're a fireman that you could come in and start asking questions <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck on the way back today had one of the worst gas station experiences yep. w- went in and went and used the bathroom and then there's two sinks both motion detectors and one of them the motion detector doesn't work so i waved at the other one long enough for it to realize i'm a person who deserves water <laughs> and it washed my hands turn around waving at both paper towel dispensers <laughs> zero paper towels i just fling my hands and and walk out right in in, in the like hot food area is right outside so i'm like i guess i'm taking a bunch of your fucking napkins all four napkin holders completely empty god damn it i bet that's what a a woman loves when she's loading up a cheddar dog is you bursting around the corner aggravated with poo poo water hands (laughs) frantically tearing at the napkins (laughs) And I want to add, I was in that same bedroom. There was a Dyson Air hand blade dryer right there. I, I didn't see it. I was blind with rage. By I'm, that I'm always salty when it's a hand blower, unless it's the Dyson. That's like cutting edge technology. Yeah, the ones where you dip your hands down no, into it. This is the different one. It's almost like a home, shaped like home plate. And each part of the triangle at the bottom shoots a blade of air. Oh, yep. I've so, seen that one, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, the one you dip your hands in. I don't wide. like that one. Yeah. I don't like that one at all. I I always feel like I'm going to catch the rim and now my hands are dirty again, yeah. you know? Yeah, you can't catch the rim. No, nope, can't. Never catch the rim. But I was so goddamn mad at that. Cat. I was like, I'm going to fucking roundhouse kick this gas station. Wiping your hands on the entryway mat. <laughs> this I is le- what you want. I legit just did right on my shirt. Yeah. Just, Fine, is this it? Is this what you want? You feel like an animal. <laughs> oh, God. I was so goddamn. And I was starving. Zero hot food. We're O for two today on gas stations having hot food. I guess people don't eat on Sundays. No. Nobody gets hungry on Sundays. No. They're just maybe it's the government. Like, just eat at home. <laughs> just eat a salad. <laughs> you don't have to always eat rodeo burgers. I left that second gas station. Like, is this a fucking new blue law I've never heard of? <laughs> Sorry, we can't sell food on Sundays. You should be at church. Just one day without onion rings, please. <laughs> please. Never. <laughs> Animals. <laughs> <laughs> freedom ain't free yeah. i'm slowly becoming more republican yeah. if i leave that gas station <laughs> oh god you pay someone to b- retrofit your vehicle so you can have a fry daddy in it <laughs> <laughs> who wants many tacos <laughs> Marlon, I can hear your heart beating. <laughs> you have to lay off the mini tacos. No, shut up. I uh, got never. it. Nobody else will serve food at a gas station, apparently. 
the Schwan man meets you at like uh, intersections in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> like Robert Johnson selling a soul to the devil <laughs> at the crossroads. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <That's... laughs> I get thirty-seven push-ups. Well, sir, they only come in boxes of twenty. I meant boxes. <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> oh no. I have to call the regional office. If I, if I piss him off, I'm finished. <laughs> I'm, I'm just eating frozen Schwann's treats in my car, just crunching down on frozen mini corn dogs. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, fuck. And I was happy to see you finally when we left, when we went and got sushi on Friday. You came and picked me up, and I was so happy that you got to witness the phenomenon I deal with every fucking day of people at this intersection by my apartment <laughs> stopping at a stop sign that doesn't <laughs> exist. They don't know, apparently, they don't realize that that's a through street and they stop. Signs are hard. Isn't that infuriating? <laughs> Just waving you through. It's like, oh, oh, my God. God. Come on, buddy. You can you know, go. You can yeah. do it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. <laughs> I'm clearly not going forward. You got it. You oh. try it. See what it feels like. Go forward in your car. <laughs> hey, there you go. You could just not stop at weird times all the time. There's usually a sign that'll tell you to stop. Holy shit. Five cars behind that guy, no doubt, losing their minds. Yeah, just screaming, shaking so hard the lid flies off their coffee. <laughs> Scalding their kids. No longer get to see their kids. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, put your hand down. Start driving. You don't it's have to been, wave me through. It has been a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> we did it, though. Yeah, we told jokes. We didn't eat gas station food. Yeah. Well, we did, but yeah. not today. Yeah. <laughs> Mercifully. <laughs> <laughs> My asshole's going to whisper thank you to me at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep doing this. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Look around you. Yeah. <laughs> there are people who care about you. <laughs> no more treats. Uh, phew. <laughs> well, we did it. We did. Look at that. Look at it. We took the training wheels off of the Simpsons training wheels. Yep. We don't. We we need it, but we don't need it. Right. Look yeah. at us. We can yeah. we can do an episode of America's Barley Basket without the Simpsons. Without them, it's like a weird breakup. <laughs> Weird to talk about them. Is it cool to talk about them? <laughs> Are they talking about me? <laughs> we can't mention their names. Uh, <laughs> they'll know we care. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you so much, Mrs. Krabappel. <laughs> oh, we do miss Mrs. Krabappel. Oh, <laughs> damn it. So when do you figure? It'll probably August, September-ish. It'll be the next season will be up for us to peruse. I'm going to guess September. It'll yeah. be in the fall for sure. Okay. Like, uh, because the new season on television starts like late september late september early october because like the the treehouse is always one of the first five episodes okay. you know and that's yeah. always around halloween so yeah so, so think of that like you'll be watching football the next time we're talking about new simpsons yeah, yeah i mean we've discussed it maybe we'll watch some old classics or something like that yeah, if we get the itch you know yeah. maybe we'll maybe we'll come to these prepared with a thing that we're gonna do on this episode but Sometimes it'll just be horseshit. It'll be just this. Oops, all horseshit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gross. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what the color scheme this for that is, box this is. is. horse cereal. <laughs> hay and horseshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing the whoops as it's, it's strands of hay, and then it's the horseshit's poo-poo. <laughs> <laughs> I too is an ideas man. Oh, yeah, clearly. Are we Who's adding this for? Are we adding that to the product line along with our stone fruit sodas? <laughs> we fucked up on this one. We, <laughs> this was a bad idea. This is, we need to learn to say no. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a Nathan for you sketch. Horseshit flavored cereal. Yeah. <laughs> it's real on the nose. It's not a, a lot of subtlety with this one. <laughs> I was, man. I was. Target advertised on Instagram a product. Think of uh, like a, a a protein shaker bottle. Okay. You know uh, that kind of you know looks like a big plastic glass with a yeah. lid in the mouth and uh, fake every- pussy <laughs> <laughs> for the man on the go. And it was it was a flashlight. Is yeah. what it was. I was advertised a flashlight. That one end is a protein shaker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Choose wisely, young Padawan. <laughs> Look twice before you start just pulling on it. I mean, both give you protein. <laughs> 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 that one didn't taste like cookies and cream at all. <laughs> Tasted like the ocean. Oh, no. <laughs> like I got trip to the pier flavored <laughs> protein. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it was, a, so that's what we're dealing okay. with. Okay. Like a protein shaker type bottle. Except it had like an inner chamber that sits inside the the glass as a whole. Yeah. Uh, and what it's meant for is you put dry cereal in the inner chamber and you fill the outside chamber with cold milk. And then there's some, there's some manner of uh, a valve in there that when you tip it up to drink, it allows dry cereal to fall into your mouth along with milk why exactly For, yeah why is this if, a real product if making a bowl of cereal is exhausting just oh the ad addressed that nathan oh. <laughs> the, you know what problem this is meant to solve driving while eating cereal driving while eating cereal yeah. which is not a real problem yeah, finally we, nobody does that. Yeah. they made a whole episode of always sunny about dennis doing that exact thing <laughs> Well, problems that don't need to be solved. No. Yeah. We're solving <laughs> you know, <laughs> fake problems. Just take four minutes. <laughs> the length of a fucking modern rock song. Just sit down and eat a bowl of cereal. <laughs> Treat yourself. Slow your life down a little bit. I guess, to be fair, though, I watched that whole ad because I was so like... What? Why? <laughs> and now I'm talking about yeah, it on a podcast, we're, we're, so I guess it fucking worked. Yeah, it's going viral. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I was like confused and then like legit upset a little bit like who the fuck is who's this for why would you do this you could you could have like instant potatoes and gravy in it there's oh. all sorts of options oh yeah, yeah. what other yeah. options yeah. what other things could you do with it yeah. oh man holy fucking cocktail shrimp and cocktail <laughs> sauce watching someone do that while driving <laughs> Chuck, oh, should, like, take the tails yeah. off these uh, fuck up i <laughs> <laughs> all veins <laughs> oh god <laughs> holy fuck just diced up boiled hot dogs and a ketchup mustard blend <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> P- pizza combos and pepsi oh. here we go <laughs> oh, so yeah. you're only limited by your imagination buy one now exactly tell get, us how it goes for you get out there and <laughs> baby carrots and beef broth <laughs> it's kind of like stew yeah. no it's not get out of that car <laughs> yeah baby carrots and dice jerky with hot beef broth oh there we yeah. go maybe that's the yeah. move it's maybe not we don't know that what, bad maybe yeah. we don't know what the people want <laughs> maybe for the first time ever we're the assholes. Maybe. <laughs> it never happened. It's never happened before, though, so probably not. <laughs> Two and a half years of podcasting. <laughs> never been in the wrong. And well over 30 years of existence. Yeah. <laughs> First I'm, time for everything. I'm going to be 38 tomorrow. Are you really? Yeah. As you hear this, it's yesterday because it's Monday. Mm. But like. So first free meal of the day, going to get up at like eight, go get breakfast somewhere. I don't know if this is a hot take or not. Yes. I I am not and have never been a huge proprietor of go get all my birthday freebies. I only was into that when I discovered there was a restaurant I actually like to eat that gave you a free on. Sure. Yeah. Like. You know, like there's a Mexican restaurant here in town that gives you a free. There's a couple Mexican restaurants yep. here in town that give you a free meal. Neither of which I really care for. But right. For me would be we're at lunch at work. Hey, let's go there. You can eat for free. Okay. Good thinking. Yeah. But like planning my night, unless it was the Holiday Inn, because that was a good restaurant. Like they had the like the sit down and Holiday Inn. Oh, yeah. Yep, they used yep. to have escargot on the menu. Ooh. So you could eat some snails before you got your entree. Get into some snails. Yeah. You have some birthday snails. Escargot. My cargo. 
160 <laughs> swiftly. <laughs> Wreck it by a new run. You crew run, run, run. You crew run, run. I did. They're, they're fine. They taste what you would assume snails. Yeah, you snails. get a cute little fork. Yeah, a little, cute little, little snail fork. There, t- put it in there and twist. Steal it. Yeah, <laughs> for my for my minis, <laughs> get the little mini loaf, the mini fork. There's all sorts of minis. Yeah, next year mini Tabasco sauce, like yeah. <laughs> just building a whole little dollhouse life. But I have reached an age where I'm like, a bad meal isn't worth it if it's free, you know, like or a lackluster meal. Yeah, like, and that's the thing. None of those Mexican places are are bad. They're just yeah. they're they're fine. Yeah, so one of them I would call good, but I, it's like. Uh, or like, oh, I can go get a cupcake at that fancy cupcake place. But then it's like, eh, I got to drive all the way across town. How is it a, fa- uh, a beat up van with a beleaguered 50 year old man? It's 145 degrees and a 12 year old girl running the till can make better Mexican food than any <laughs> brick and mortar Mexican place that has white people working in it. Right. What magic do they possess? Yeah. <laughs> I do, uh, you'll never get better Mexican food out than you will out of a food truck. Yep. We got Mexican food out of a food truck last summer when I was down at your place. Just a food truck parked at a gas station. Yep. It's fucking outstanding. Yeah, I, I ate there a week ago. It was terrific. <laughs> oh, they're still around. Yeah. Good. The kid working is even younger. It's like <laughs> Different kid, I'm yeah. going to assume. Yeah. <laughs> Barely sees over the counter. <laughs> Just beating on the cash register like a little kid playing a stand-up Bop, arcade uh, game. Like it's his busy box. Yeah, I win. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it works. Super change is right. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm a mark for doing this because I'm sure it's like the cheapest thing for their cost. I'm a fan of the cup of corn. Oh, I the like cup a cup of corn, corn with a little yeah. bit of cheese and a yeah. little bit of I think mayo, spicy mayo mixed yeah. in. Yep. Yeah. I'm a I'm a bitch for the cup of corn. It's like disassembled elote. Yep. yep. Exactly. Yep. 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 I'm a fan of that. Love me a cup of corn. Well, it's been corn talk. I'm a corn boy. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of ways to consume corn. A lot of corn talk on the barley show yeah. this week. <laughs> uh, write us. Don't email. Write us your favorite ways to consume corn. We'll read them live on the air. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be handwritten. Yep. I'm not going to provide an address. Yep. Just, <laughs> if you want to get it on the air, you'll figure it out. Yep. Just <laughs> step outside and hand it to the breeze. <laughs> or just internet. You can, you'll find out where we live. That's troubling, but, but it's that's true. That's terrifying. Yep. Fuck. Please don't do that. Yeah. Please don't find where I live. <laughs> if you do find where Marlon lives, <laughs> maybe give me a heads Which up. Which don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> please don't kill us let's end on that <laughs> <laughs> let's end on yeah. please don't kill us I've, i would like to see further than 38 oh my god the lack of like give a shit in our eyes if that's what it came down to, you'd be real bummed because i don't think i got the energy to scream a whole bunch <laughs> and just be like, oh man i guess <laughs> okay <laughs> well if you must yeah, i thought you'd fight more well <laughs> so did i you must not listen to the podcast that closely but now that i'm staring down the barrel of it. Uh, <laughs> it's it's something <laughs> <laughs> hurry up do it in the bathroom oh god <laughs> Don't ruin the carpet let's do it again next yeah. week i'm sure i'll be a brand new man there we go yeah. Love again. Yeah. <laughs> bye everybody